Hey everyone, welcome back again to H360 Health Talk and we're here with my colleague Dave Duplay to finish our conversation about his journey with sleep apnea. Doug, thanks for having me. But what about, um, you know, your first experience with it, your first night with it? Did you, was it on, you Doug, know, did it take I, some getting used to? Doug, did you notice like, you know, in the middle of the night it came off or anything or? Doug, zero learning curve. Really? Zero learning curve. The first night I slept in this thing, now remember, I did not have the mini. I went, I was at home you first had the home night. One first. Yeah, I, I had the, the larger with you know the the reservoir with distilled water in it, um, and so I, I put it on. This thing was so comfortable, I fell right to sleep. I, I actually I went to bed a little bit early, as you know. I'm I'm early in the office. I'm a er, very early riser in the morning. I purposefully went to bed a little bit early, thinking. Okay, first night with the ResMed, it's going to take me some getting used to. I don't think I was awake 10 minutes and I was really? out. Yeah. Wow. And when I tell you that the first night I slept probably better than I have had slept in 10 years, it was amazing. I woke up and, you know, I could feel benefit. So did you did you look at your your the app on your phone the next day and say I, wow I, I hardly I, I did um, you know, everything's tech everything's hooked into the phone nowadays it's, you know it's so so you do I don't know if you can see this but I'll you know we'll get some screen mm -hmm. closer screenshots of yep. this so I have a little folder on on my iPhone app I, I call health right mm -hmm. and I have my a lot of apps and, a lot of apps there in the health well, folder Doug I, it's the new me it's the new me that's good to hear so I have two. Two apps for, for ResMed. I have one is for my machine at home, and I have the Air Mini app. So they, and they both do different things. I'm going to show you on the Air Mini, but I do want to show you. I know this is going to be a little difficult to see. Last night I scored 100 out of 100 points. Look wow. at that, Doug. Wow, perfect. Huh? So, and, and so, so the, it was at seven hours. Um, you know, only one event per hour, which I'm uh, uh, so, so as opposed to 60. Uh, exactly wow. right. So now wow. you're, you're, I think it's sinking in. And your mask went on and on. So they actually can tell if you took it on or off during this. So it looks like yeah. twice it went on and off. Yeah, I, so I, I got up twice. Once, once to get some water, um, uh, I needed a cool drink of water. And then once I had the water, I had to then you had to use let the go of the water. Yeah. So I had to use So 100 out of 100, so that's a... Huge improvement. Yeah, from so, where I, you were. so I just want to show you. So you can look at all my progress. So if I go down here to the wow. very bottom, right, my first night and dug an 84. Four. So this is the first night on, let me go back here uh, just a minute. Um, so my, my very first night was March the 12th, and, and Dave scores an 84. I mean, killing it the first night right there with the ResMed. Yeah. It's un unbelievable. So right? that night you, you took it on and off six times. I, I did. I did. Was that well, so just was that just getting used to sleeping with something on, and you kind of just you know t no, moved it around, or no? You know what? I went to bed a little early. I fell asleep early. I had a couple more bathroom breaks that I didn't anticipate happening. Okay. So you know, I and now with with this whole gear on, I, I try to really um, stop drinking water or you know any kind of iced tea or anything. Yeah. You know, kind of an hour or so before I go to bed because I'm, I'm, I've got the gear on. So okay. 84 points the very first night I, I sleep wow. uh, with this thing on, and then it just got better from there. So we, we go from 84 to 87 to 92, Doug 97. The next night, March 16th, 100 points, wow. 100 out of 100, another 100, 99, 100. So that's great. You know, you can track this, and, and what you're tracking is the hours that you have it on. Mm -hmm. It's tracking, the, the device is um, tracking how good the mask is sealed. Mm -hmm. So if there's any air leaking out of out of around the mask here, mm -hmm. it's sensing that. Okay. Um, and it's gi giving you the readout there. It's giving you events per hour, how many times you took the mask off, and then your your total score. So now, when when you go to bed at night, do you have to do something on the app saying, "All right, you I'm don't going do to Doug, bed," or Doug, or as soon as you turn that on, it starts measuring it? You don't. You don't. Is worry. there any start, stop, on, no. off, nothing? Doug, no. That's it. No. Wow, pretty simple to no, use, I, huh? I, I'm telling you, these guys at ResMed, right? This CEO guy, um, his name's Mick Farrell. Mix an MIT grad, couple couple degrees from MIT. This guy is as he's as smart as it gets. He knows his stuff. I think he's been with ResMed since 2000. 
I think in 2013 he became the CEO of the company. You know, he's a he's a fast track executive, um, but and I don't know him, and so I'm not. You know, I'm just telling you what I know and what I believe about the device. I mean, they've got it figured out. I'm sure yeah. he he's got to have a team of scientists and, and designers mm -hmm. and engineers that really work on this thing and focus on it. But then what's equally as important, I think, and as impressive is he's got to have a great great group of technologists that, that this app is so easy, so yeah. user-friendly, yeah. so easy to understand, you know, anybody mm -hmm. can do it. So, Well, and they also have to inform the, you know, the doctors and technicians on how to, you know, well, ed educate the patients, <clears throat> such as yourself, you know, how to use it, what to do, all that. Well, well here's the thing. Next week, I have my one-month visit back to my pulmonologist. Now, he's asked me to bring my larger device. There, there's a, an SD card, a memory chip you know, card in there. Oh, okay. They're going to take that out. Uh, they're going to download the data into my medical record. They're going to look at it. I think they're going to be blown away. I think they're going to say, Dave, great, great job. Keep up the great work. You know, obviously, there's always room for improvement. I mean, the weight is something something else you know mm -hmm. that I have to deal with so I'm, I'm exercising more I'm, I'm trying to limit myself to 2,000 calories a day because I think you know there's no one silver bullet here right mm -hmm. and you know people think well I'm gonna go on a diet and I'm, I'm gonna do some fad diet right I'm gonna do intermittent fasting or I'm gonna do keto or I'm gonna do there's, you know, there's a number of paleo, them out there's, there. you, you yeah. pick your poison but I, I think it's a combination of things. It's, it's nutrition, it's exercise, it's following your doctor's orders, and it's choosing a device that works for you. This one works for me just great. You know, I'm, I'm so happy that, you know, we've got smart people inventing these yeah, kinds of absolutely. things. Yeah, absolutely. So, so, you know, now you, you've been through it for uh, almost a month now. Yeah. Um, so have you, you know, you said you've had some great night's sleeps. Have you noticed anything in your overall health or, or anything you're experiencing? Did you have more energy throughout the day? Well, you I know, think you were just saying the other day how my complexion looks a lot nicer, Doug. <laughs> Weren't you saying, I mean, no, I'm just being funny now. But but a total, uh, you know, I, I feel fresher. I get up. Sharper. At, you just, sharper. You know, I get up in the morning. I am ready to go. I can go later into the evening. You know, I mean, I and I think, listen, I, I got to attribute it to, in a large part, to the quality of sleep I'm getting, mm -hmm. right? Because I'm, I'm not having these episodes. Mm -hmm. I'm able, my body is able to get into REM sleep, and I'm able to get good quality sleep. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's what this is all about. Yeah, so you just right. mentioned the word REM sleep? Yeah, so there's different levels of sleep. So... You know, REM sleep is when you're at your deepest. You know, your body is at total relaxation. I mean, you're, it, it's where you kick in the recharges, if you will, for your body. You know, all your organs, you know, you think about the human body. It works so hard. We're designed so efficiently, but if you think about our body, it works so hard. Your brain has to be firing at all times. Mm -hmm. When you're behind the wheel of the car, you see yeah. the red light, you got to know to stop. You always have to be paying attention. You always yeah. have to, your brain is always firing. It's yep. always on. Exactly. It's got to tell your lungs to breathe, your heart to pound, right? <clears throat> All of these things it has to do. And so you have to, you know, you, you have to recharge at night. You've got to, if you're not sleeping well, your body, how can it function? You know, you think about, again, our bodies were, were so finely wired and everything works in unison you know when it's working right and when it when it doesn't sometimes that's when the wheels can fall off the bus and and I want to tell you if you don't get this um, sleep apnea addressed let me tell you mm -hmm. what the possibilities for you are um, what do you think about diabetes what do you think about stroke what do you think about heart attack what do you think about obesity yeah. What do you think about depression? Because those are all of the these things that if you don't address this, this is what can happen to mm -hmm. you. This is the path that I was on. Yeah. You know, I refuse to believe it or I knew about it. You know, I'm, I, I think, halfway educated. I, I read the literature. I, I knew what, you know, could happen. But what, what gets me is I talk to friends now. And now I'm, as you can tell, I'm on my bandwagon here. I'm yeah. on my soapbox. Yeah about this because you really have to do it's kind of like 
I tell my friends, when you turn 50, the greatest birthday gift you can give yourself is a colonoscopy because early detection can save your life. Yeah. If your sleep partner is telling you you're snoring and you're holding your breath, get your butt into um, the pulmonologist or your general practitioner, your family doctor, and have a discussion, right? Because again, um, diabetes, depression, stroke, heart attack, obesity, these are the things. This will be the road you're on if you don't address it. Yeah. And I have friends who have been diagnosed with sleep apnea. Um, I think I even have somebody that works with me. Her boyfriend's been diagnosed with sleep apnea, has gone so far as to get the machine, but won't wear it. So what, so what do you say to somebody like that? You know, I, well, I, I guess, wake, I guess I some people wake, are very wake up. I say, self-conscious about it or, yeah. you know, for one reason or another. Or. Well, I, I mean, you know, if you, if you want to look good at the funeral home in your coffin, yeah, well, good for you, yeah. right? Um, you're going to die early and young, right? Or something's going to happen. It's comfortable. I wake up. It doesn't... I'm, you know, no ra no rash, no anything. Um, and then I have these little, my wife got me these little, I think they're actually um, disposable, pre-moisturized makeup remover. Uh, it's got, uh, uh, you know, some kind of skin softener in there okay. also. So I just take that and I just rub, clean this out. I, I take this apart. I'm cleaning in here, cleaning in here. And then what I do once a week is I'll take uh, a little bit of water, I'll put a little bit of rubbing alcohol, I, I will take the hose out of the machine. You just run it through there just to, and to I'll, clean I'll, it out I'll a little bit? I'll put it down in here and I'll, and I'll go like this and you know I'll, I'll just kind of move it around a little bit. Yeah. And then I take the one end and I run it under the faucet <clears> and I, I make sure I get all of that out of the hose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and it, that sounds like a good idea. It's, it's ready for usage. Yeah, so um, you just mentioned your wife again. so. You know, she was complaining early on. So how how's she feeling now about is she is she sleeping better now? So I'm, I'm going to tell you the funny part about this is the home machine. It it has a little bit of a hum to it, almost like an ambient noise. I think they call it. Mm -hmm. And if she's actually, I think, sleeping better than I am now. Number one, because I'm not snoring. And number two, that little hum that's coming that from... That kind of white noise in the that, background, it, it, yeah. yeah. Exactly, yeah. And so it, it puts her to sleep, and she's she's sleeping like a champ. So it sounds like you're both happier. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Both sleeping better? Yeah, it, you know, you're definitely both sleeping better. And most importantly, you know, I got off of this path that I was on because, again, you know, diabetes, depression, stroke, heart attack, obesity, you know, I mean... It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bad road to be on. So you got to, it's like anything else. You, you have to make a commitment. Mm -hmm. um, and anybody that's out there that if they're being told they're snoring, obsessive snoring, loud, holding your breath, you really got to go in and get this checked out. Yeah. Well, Dave, uh, you know, thank you for being here and sharing with us today. You want to try it out? I mean, you want to? Huh? I'm, I'm Doug? okay. I'm okay. Uh, all right. But okay. Uh, again, folks, sleep apnea. Uh, you know, it should not be taken lightly. It's not just snoring. Um, you may want to go see a doctor if that's something you think you may be suffering from. So thank you again, Dave. And, uh, you know, we'll catch up with you again in a few months and see how things are going. Okay. Well, here's to better health. Awesome. Thanks, Doug. Yep.